There are new concerns tonight about all those electric scooters you see around Memphis, especially downtown and midtown. They are often driven erratically and left in an unsightly pile on street corners throughout the city. And now there are two new scooter companies coming in that will double the number of scooters around here. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews has this local consumer alert. At Memphis City Hall, they're keeping an eye on scooters. And boy, do we have a lot of scooters. More than a thousand of them. By this time next year, there will be more than 2,000 of them. In the year they've been on the streets, they've also been parked on sidewalks, gathered in little scooter packs, or sometimes being just a lone wolf. The city admits this is a problem. So does this guy. He picks them up, and his search for the scooters would make Lewis and Clark cry. You name it, uh, they can be there. But uh, personally, dumpsters, this one up here is on the roof. I'm going to go talk to the mechanics about if, is there a way to get to the roof. Uh, any nook and cranny. He got that scooter down, by the way. Do they get in the way of people, do you think, sometimes? Absolutely. The city of Memphis has had rules in place for the past year concerning scooters. That's what they say, anyway. The scooters are great if people would not drive so close to you. They will come within just inches of you, and you don't know they're coming. It's, no. it's startling. The city is now instituting new regulations. We'll be able to go on a computer any time of day and see... Are they, um, are the companies clustering too many scooters in one location? Are the companies putting scooters on a, um, on a curb ramp at a sidewalk where they shouldn't be? Memphis made half a million dollars from scooter charges last year. And this rider had one suggestion. Does it have a horn? That's the only thing. Or a cup holder. So that's my only issue. So when the new regulations go into effect, if the operators don't follow them, it could be see you later. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.